Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so grateful to God for this opportunity to bring his truth to you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, diverse manifestations of your spirit is taking place right now. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. We minister your truth and burdens are being lifted and yokes are being destroyed right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, thank you for our daily bread that we receive today. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, now we are still in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Now we're explaining what we call the gifts of the Spirit. So we talked about the word of wisdom yesterday, and then we, we got into word of knowledge also. And I said, word of wisdom is the ability by the Holy Spirit to interpret, to tell Give, bring solutions, you see, bring understanding to you. Now, that's word of wisdom. So, you don't know what to do in a particular situation. You don't understand what's going on in a particular in a situation. You need the word of wisdom. You just, and, and what does it take? Don't go look for a prophet or someone and say, This man, he operates, he gets you operating. You have the Holy Ghost inside of you. Ask, just, just go back and say, Holy Spirit, I, 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 need, I need wisdom in this area. What, what do you think? And what of wisdom also comes in interpretation of scriptures. See, the Holy Spirit tells you, hey, this is the meaning of this. That's what of wisdom. Now, it all, see, every one of these gifts is to do one thing. Produce faith in you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. So, what is word of knowledge? Word of knowledge is the ability to know what's your mental faculty or what you cannot really see so so it is by word of knowledge you can tell where someone is or where someone has been or what you you can tell you see that it works in different ways when you see someone speaking and mentioning names or calling situations you know sometimes during the broadcast for example like this you know the the, the spirit of god begins to tell me look hey i'm doing this or i have done this maybe he's bringing healing to someone maybe he's bringing like he's even doing right now thank you holy spirit yeah he's doing that right now see someone you're being healed in your stomach right now thank you holy spirit Yes, your stomach is being healed. Put your hand. Can you just place your hand on that stomach right now? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command whatever is holding that tummy to be loosed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare your digestive system is working properly from henceforth. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now you've been on drugs because of this situation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're healed. You are healed. Go take a glass of water right now. <laughs> and you feel that, that liberty in your tummy. So I, I just saw something snapped. And you're free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. All kinds of stomach pain including ulcer, be healed right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, then, now, now, that, now that's just like what, what the word of knowledge can be. It, it, you know when you say someone ministering and he's calling names and he's calling people's phone numbers and things that, now, you know, some people think, oh, that all those things are fake. And now, of course, you see, we know there are false prophets, but it doesn't mean there is not the real one. Now I've been in situations where the, 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 the Spirit of God, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, sometimes people come to you and they are talking to you and they are telling you lies. Now when they are telling you lies, suddenly the Holy Spirit begins to speak to you and He tells you exactly what the truth of the situation is. See, now that's word of knowledge. He tells this person has been here. This person has spoken to this person and he has done this. That's why he's saying this thing right now. That's word of knowledge. Now, what's that supposed to do? You know, sometimes we use this, see, when, when, when this gift is manifesting, maturity is demanded of you. 
as I sometimes it stops because there is no mature. You don't want to grow mature. You you think you want to use the gift to, for display. You know, sometimes, for example, someone is talking to you and you, you know, this person is telling you lies. And then the Holy Spirit is telling you, this person is telling a lie. And you know, the first reaction was, you're telling, you came here to tell me a lie. Eh? I will place a curse on you right now. No. Now, why is the Holy Spirit telling you the best? To guide you. To guide you. And most times, I just ask the Holy Spirit, what do you want me to say? You say, answer the person like this and like this. I say, okay, thank you, sir. I would not even tell the person you're telling a lie. I will just say, see, do it like, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Because I don't have time for drama. <laughs> now that's me. That is my attitude. I don't have time for drama. I, I don't, you know, you know, I remember sometime, you know, this dear lady came to me and, <clears throat> and she was telling me, oh, this challenge, this challenge. She said, like, Lord, what do we do? And then the Lord said, tell her to begin to pray every night for the next two weeks to be praying every night at 12 o'clock. I said, okay, thank you, Lord. So I, I know she was talking. I said, hold on, hold on. You know what? For the next two weeks, make sure every night, at least the next two weeks, you wake up at 12 to pray. I said, okay, thank you, sir. I'll do it. I said, that's all. That's all. I said, that's all. I said, that's all. You can't go. <laughs> it's good. And then she left. Now, sometime later, she came to me and said, ah, that someone took her to someone, you know, a prophet. And the prophet began to tell her plenty things and tell her how, you know, this person is attacking her, this person is doing this, this one has taken her name somewhere, this one is done this, or this one is done. And then the prophet now said, what he has saved you is that midnight prayer you used to pray. And the person came and said, ah, pastor, I don't know what to do. I said, what do you mean you don't know what to do? I have already told you what to do. Now, you see, now that's, that's word of knowledge and word of wisdom together. Now, because all those things the prophet was saying, I saw them, but that's never my business. And it's none of her business also. The business is, what do you do? And that's the only instruction I gave. Now, now I could have gone all the way. So, so you know, she, she was talking to me, and then I was saying that, ah, that, man, that prophet can see you. And I laughed. <laughs> Praise God. I laughed. I laughed because, oh, because you saw drama, you feel the person can see. But the person that gave you solution, you don't know the person sees. Too. See, so that's, that's the thing, maturity. Because sometimes when you go into those details, there are, there are certain things the person cannot stomach. I'm telling you the truth. There are certain you think you are, you are functioning by the gift of word of knowledge. But the end result will be to cause fear in that person. You come and start telling the person, oh, your, your, your grandmother. Remember your grandmother? When you were 10 years old, she gave you one sweet to lick. You say, yes. Yes. That's sweet. Hey! And then I say, you have a neighbor around you. That neighbor... She used to bring food to your house. This is what she has been putting. Hey! Now, what happens when the person goes back home? Eh? It's my neighbor. Ah! You see, now you, 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 you will not have time to explain to or teach that person how to relate in love. So was it necessary in the first place? Tell the person, hey, listen, teach the person what to do to live. Because the truth is, all those things have no basis or they don't have any power over the person. They don't. If you walk in righteousness and do what God wants you to do, all those things can never affect you. So sometimes you don't need to know. And so why is the Holy Spirit? He is bringing it for your own benefit. You, you, your own benefits. So you will know how to instruct the person. So he gives you the history. But don't stop at the history. Get to the end. Get to the solution. You know, sometimes you see people prophesy and prophesy. They tell you your house address. They tell you your phone number. They tell you where you've been. And then the next thing, after all, they say, so what do I do? You have to pray. You have to pray. You have to pray. So what have you done? You've just confused the person the more. And then magnify yourself. Because all the person goes back and say, ah, that man, he can see you, he can see you. So, you know, I hear people come to me and say, ah, they told me, I said, so what, at the end of the day, what did he tell you to do? 
a dear sister came to me and said, oh, a prophet of God told me that he sees a veil covering me. And that's why I'm not married yet. There's a veil. That's because I said, so what did he now tell you to do? You know, he just said, I should pray. I should pray very hard. I said, ah, you, you're too foolish. He said he's seen a veil. He didn't grab his leg and tell him to remove the veil. <laughs> he that he's seen the veil. He must make sure he removes. And the proof that he has removed the veil is that next week, a husband will come to you. <laughs> So, so people end up confusing people the more. That's not what God has sent us to do. Praise God. He sent us to bring solution to people. Mm. Let's go on. So, so I'm telling you the gift of what, word of knowledge and, 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 and word of wisdom. See? Then he, he goes on to say, Faith. Now, what is the gift of faith? Very simple. Now, I, I love the gift of faith. You see, because this, the truth is, this is what you need for your day-to-day -day living. That's why it's not a special gift that the Holy Spirit gives to a few. It is for you. You need this. Because what does it mean, the gift of faith? The gift of hearing the voice of God. That's, what, that's just simply what it is. <laughs> the gift of hearing the voice of God. Didn't he says, faith comes by hearing, and hearing what? The voice of God. So when he says, the gift of faith, what does that, what do you think? You know, some, some people just say, uh, the gift of faith is the ability to do some special miracles. If somebody has faith, he has faith to build 10 story buildings. Hey, it's not a special faith. He had God. It's as simple as that. He just had God. So, so you can hear God too. I mean, no matter how broken and weak you are, if the voice of God comes to you and says, Son, you're going to start building a 10-story building next tomorrow. Yes, sir. That's, that should be your response. Yes, sir. And then you go price blocks. Or you go negotiate for blocks. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Because it is the Spirit that does the work. We... That's what the gift of faith is. The ability to hear the voice of God and to hear it constantly in everything. Praise God. All right, then. Then the next one he goes, he says, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. You, he's not saying, God, give me the gifts, you know, to go and be healing people. Already Jesus said, this sign shall follow those who believe. They shall lay hands on the sick and the sick will recover. It's not, it's not special. What do I need the gift of healing for? Yeah, you need it for yourself. You are sick in your body right now. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord, I, I want healing. See, because this thing is for your own benefit. The, the, the manifestation of the Spirit of God is given to every man to profit. You need the profit of healing right now. So what do you do? Connect with the Holy Spirit. That the gift of healing be manifested in your body. Praise God. That's how it works. Not there. This, this, this guy is a healing minister. He has the gift of healing. We all have been commanded. <laughs> oh, God. It's a command. Heal the sick, cast out devils, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. Jesus gave that command. Go and obey it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are you getting this thing at all? And he says, to another working of miracle, to another prophecy. To another the sending of spirit, to another diverse kind of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. Diverse kinds of miracles. Things that get complicated. We have the power in us to cause a miracle to happen. Oh, you, you see, that's how Jesus fed the crowd with five loaves of bread and two fishes. Do you know Elijah did the same thing? Elisha did the same thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know our time is up. Praise <laughs> God. Are you getting this thing? Listen, just lift up your hands and say, Holy Spirit, I will not limit you again. I release myself that all these gifts, all these manifestations, as I need them, 
they are working in me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> God bless you. Bye-bye.